Hello fellow simmers, it's Samuel Beeman of BLS here and welcome back to Roblox Grand Continental Railways version 1.2.8 So I'm doing another video on Grand Continental Railways and just Roblox in general because I know you guys really enjoy Roblox videos and they are pretty popular on the BLS channel So I just thought, you know what, let's just, you know, do another video and today we're going to be doing a little review on Harvey, well, Harvey That Time Lord's Class 455 Electric Multiple Unit for the game. And this is one of the best units for the game, I would say. I would say it's probably one of my favourite ones to drive, along with the Class 456. So I was actually going to do a review of the 456, but unfortunately I've, well, at the moment the horns don't work on it, so... I've had to swap it out for a class 455, so we're going to be doing the same run as what I was going to do on the 456, but with the class 455 EMU instead. And we're going to be running from Giles Mount to the little used branch line of Landfield North. So we're going to go from Giles Mount to Landfield North and back again. Uh, just to give you guys a little, you know, idea of the 455 and what it's all about. So I've chosen the Southwest Trains livery. Uh, or South Western Railways livery, but in this obviously it's called South Renford Railway uh, because of branding. You know you can't like use proper branding in Roblox, otherwise you get shot. So we just uh, received the all clear, so we can now depart the yard to Giles. Yeah, this thing drives lovely, and the sounds of it is really really good as well. Like it's got some really nice sounds. And the overall modelling is absolutely superb. Like Harvey definitely puts a lot of effort into his models. And bear in mind all of his models are done in CSG guys. You know this isn't like Blender stuff. This is done all done in CSG. And CSG can be apparently, well according to other people, it can be a nightmare to model stuff in. And you know what? He's done an absolutely sterling job on his models. And I mean just, just look at the detail. You know we've got all of the jumper cables on the front of the unit. You know, we've got all of the stuff as expected to be seen on the Class 455. And, you know, these were, and, and still are to this day, a very reliable su suburban commuter train that runs on the southern network. I also like how it's notched as well, so it's it's nice. It's not just like a straight up, you know smooth transition it's actually notched which just adds to the experience of driving it so our allocation is platform 12 so we've got a two-tone horn uh, these can change dependent on when you spawn it in it has loads of different horns that can be spawned in uh, it comes in a variety of different liveries it comes in network southeast uh, southern and southwest trains uh, I've personally chose Southwest Chains because it's one of my favourite liveries. The cab interior is incredibly smart as well. You can tell he's put a lot of effort into this. And this is, I believe, Harvey's favourite type of southern region unit. So he's obviously going to try and put the best he can in the means of detail onto it. But the drivability of this, this unit is really, really good. It has some really nice simulation. So yeah, so as stated at the beginning of the video, this was meant to be a 456, but uh, due to issues with the horn, I've replaced it with a 455, which can happen, you know, if this was real life, you know, and you had a failure of a class 456, they could you know use a different unit to do this service i mean it's a bit overkill for coaches realistically you probably only want two coaches up to landfield north but you know it'll do but yeah look how like smooth that was and you know uh, uh, how to stop it's just brilliant it really is so we're going to change end or we're going to open our doors to start off with Get 
Yes, our doors are now open. Change ends. So we've now changed ends to the other cab. But yeah, look, we've got all of the interior detail all present and correct, along with the lights, the light bars, the saloon lights. We've got all the passenger door lights. The livery application on this is really done well as well. Like you can tell, it's 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 done to the best of the ability. So this is number 5872, 455872 in other words. You can see we've got the LED lights modelled as well. That gives that, you know, realistic look for the LED lights. So it really is a really, really nice bit of kit. And as I say, it's one of my favourite units to drive. Uh, this and the 456, definitely. Uh, they just They just drive really, really nicely. Right, so what we'll do is we'll TRTS. Yep, we've got a green signal, excellent. Then we close our doors. And as you can see there, we've got the realistic sounds there, including the brake release. And it's a right away to Lenfield North. Really, really nice sounds on this. The rail joint sounds on this are really good as well. I know quite often you see people pairing these up with class 456s, which was quite a regular thing uh, when the 456s were still around. Now I've got a 30 limit. So we can obviously control the unit via the mouse or I've actually set my keyboard controls up to act with TS. So we've got the D to decrease power and A to apply power. You can hear the notch sounds now when you've got a key bind on there. So this is going to be simulating a stopping passenger service, so our next stop will be Lenfield Station itself. So we're going to switch our route options to Lenfield North to make sure that we're going down the right area. So yes, yeah, so the Landfield North branch is probably the most underused branch line throughout the whole of the GCR network. So it's good to do a run down there because not many people tend to use it. Which is a shame because, you know, it's quite a nice little run. It's good for a short, like, two-coacher, 456 working. That's what I tend to use it on. Loving the cab interior sounds when you're using the keybinds. Oh, the simulation of the driving of this is really, really good. Really give it credit for that. That's why I like using it. And there's our doors opening. Here we are at Landfield North. Well, it's not Landfield North, it's just Landfield. <laughs> There we are. So obviously if anyone's interested in playing this game, it is a free game. You can download it, well download the Roblox app and play the game for free. I highly recommend doing it, it is a really really fun game to play. And it's also multiplayer as well, so you can play this with your friends. Which just makes it even better really. So if you want that multiplayer experience in a train simulator, well a train sort of simulator thing, uh, this is the game for you, definitely, I would say. So TRTS, close our doors, 
and get ourselves underway for Lenfield North. So the next station should be New Beckhurst. Yeah, so had a warning there for a 30 mile an hour limit. It's 30 over the crossover. So let me know in the comments, guys, what is your favourite train in Roblox Grand Continental Railways? If you guys play this game and you know you enjoy playing it what is your favorite locomotive and unit to drive and why is that why is it your favorite locomotive and unit let us know because i'll be interested and i'm sure some of the lads over at hw will be interested to see your views and opinions on what locomotives and units are your favorites another thing i really like about this line as well is the rail joint sound so you'd notice that back there it was all welded rail but this is jointed rail so you get the rail clatter, which is uh, again a really nice feature for this branch. So it follows the tram line as well, but unfortunately the tram line doesn't run anymore, which is a shame, but hey ho. how smooth as a stop you can get with this, it's gorgeous. Passengers boarding. The next station is Lanfield North. <laughs> oh, if only you had the announcements on this thing, that would be really cool. See, we're sort of coming through like a suburban area now like with all these gardens and stuff. It's quite a pleasurable drive. Terminus station of Lanfield North. A really nice little sort of suburban station in a suburban area. There's the rear of the train in there, we are. Lanfield North, ladies and gents. Yes, yeah, so this is what the interior looks like. As you can see. So you can walk around in here and 
hop into any seat that you choose. Obviously we're not going to do that because it'll end up despawning our train if we like jump out of it, so that's not what we're going to do. But yeah, very nicely modelled interiors. Done a really good job. We've also got different difference in sounds depending on the carriage, which is really good as well. Yeah, we've got a green. We go back to New Beckhurst. So, for anyone who's wondering about the route, uh, obviously, this is all completely fictional. It's a made up universe, it has its own stories, and uh, obviously. Yeah, just canon universe. It's a very enjoyable experience. I really enjoy playing it. It's easily one of my favourite games within Roblox. Lovely stuff. The next station is Landfield. Come on guys, we need some announcements in this game. That would just be brilliant. Literally would be fantastic if announcements were a thing. I also like how it doesn't shoot off either, like it takes a little while to get up to speed, which again is a really nice touch. Concentration on. <laughs> you have to concentrate.
Our signal's red currently up ahead. Obviously, if we TRTS, that should go to yellow. Hopefully, if there's no uh, trains in Giles or any trains coming up here to pass us. You do indeed have a yellow. Excellent. Platform allocation is platform 18. So it's good to see that we're going into a different platform than what we did before. So it's a 40 mile an hour limit here, but then it goes straight on to a 30. So we want to come off the power now and start to put some braking on. There we are. Shows how much I play this game because I know. I know this route now. I've route learned this. So it's all 30 along this section until we get to the tunnels into Giles Mount Station. Fun fact about Giles Mount Station, I believe it's based on Edinburgh in real life. So it's based on, yeah, Edinburgh Waverley, which is really interesting. You, you can really tell by looking at the model that they've definitely like done a good job in the means of like building the station and they've took into account all the research of the station and got the model in pretty spot on in that regard. I love the echo effects as you go through the tunnel, it's brilliant. Oh, we've got a Premier Express there, being driven by Jensen. Very nice. DVT, giving it some tones. Pull straight up to the buffers. Oh, bit of a sharp stop there, but we got there. There you have it, guys. So, Jensen should now be leaving with his Premier Express. So I hope you enjoyed this video of Roblox Grand Continental Railways. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any more GCR videos. I'll be up for doing them whenever. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And go and play the game. I'll link the game in the description of the video. Go and check it out. And I think that Harvey's model of the Class 455 is just brilliant. It honestly is a really, really nice model. He's done an absolutely fantastic job on it. And I'm really impressed with how it drives. Uh, the overall look of it and the detail on it is, you know, second to none for Roblox. It really is a lovely looking unit and he's done a sterling job on it. Easily one of my favourite units within the game. So yes, that's all I have for you, for you today guys. So it's been Sammy Beeman at BLS. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye for now.